aircraft on Charlie, uh, lining up one way, one six center stage, all set. The gas station on runway one six center stage, all set. The gas station on runway one six center, say your call sign. Who is the gas station holding on runway one six center? Horizon 2728, verify you're in the left turn. We're in the turn, Horizon 2728. Horizon 2728, thank you. Contact departure. Steve, departure, see ya. John, Alaska. 322, that aircraft looks like that's from the horizon. Let's take it all forward. Who's the aircraft on runway 16? His wheels are focused left and right, uh, as we are right now. He's rolling down the runway. All right, I'm not even talking to him. He's flying out of the, uh, out of the, uh, cargo area Which cargo area? One or two? Like I said, it, it would be a better option, I think, if you tried to land it or even land it on the water. Yeah. Hey, is that pilot on? I want to know, uh, what this weather is going to be like in the Olympics. Well, if you can see the Olympics, the weather's good. I can see the Olympics through my window, and it looks pretty good over there. All right, because I, I hit some, uh, felt like turbulence around right near, but there was no clouds hardly. Oh, uh, that's just the uh, the wind blowing over all the bumpy surfaces there. Oh, copy that. Yeah, but Rich, if you could, uh, maybe start a left-hand turn. Start turning back around, because if you get too close to the Olympics, uh, you won't be able to hear us anymore. Turn back around here. Like I said, I just want to keep talking to you. And if you keep going towards the Olympic Mountains, we won't be able to hear each other. Turn back around so we can uh, stay in contact with you. For this issue to be resolved, and then we can clear up the taxiways. I just. I got a lot of people that care about me, and uh, it's going to disappoint them. To hear that I did this, um, I would like to apologize to each and every one of them. Um, just a broken guy, got a few screws loose, I guess. Never really knew it <clears throat> until now. Um, just you know, man, have you been to the Olympics? These guys are gorgeous. Holy smokes! Yeah, I have been out there. It's, it's it's always a nice drive. I think I might have a beer. Yeah, yeah, I, I bet you do. I haven't done much hiking over there. And uh, but if you could, if you could start a left turn and uh, turn back towards the east, I know you're getting a good view there. But uh, if you go too much further in that direction, I won't be able to hear you anymore. All right. Um, hey, pilot guy, can this thing do a? Uh a backflip, you think? I'm uh, I'm down to 2100. I started at like 30 something. 100 pounds of fuel. Rich, you said you're at uh, 2,100 pounds of fuel left. Yeah, uh, I don't know what the burn burn itch burnout is like on uh, uh, on takeoff, but uh, yeah, it burned quite a bit faster than I expected. And uh, okay. right now he's just flying around, and uh, he just needs some help controlling his aircraft. Very good. Now, I mean, I don't need that much help. I played some video games before. Uh, I would like to figure out how to get this cabin altitude. Like I know where the box is. I would like to get some, uh, make it, make it pressurized or something, so I'm not so lightheaded. There is the uh, the runway just off your right side in about a mile. Do you see that? That's the uh, that's the uh, that's McCord uh, Field. Oh man, those guys will rough me up if I uh, try landing there. I think I I think I might mess something up there too. I wouldn't want to do that. Uh, hopefully, oh they probably got anti aircraft. No, they don't have any of that stuff. Uh, we we're just trying to find a place for you to land safely. Yeah, 
Yeah, not quite ready to bring it down just yet, but holy smokes, I got to I got to stop looking at the fuel cuz it's going down quick. Okay, Rich, uh, if you could, if, could you start a left-hand turn and uh we'll we'll take you down to the uh southeast, please. This is probably uh like jail time for life, huh? I, I mean, I would hope it is for a guy like me. Uh minimum wage. We'll, we'll uh, chalk it up to that. Maybe that'll uh, grease the gears a little bit with the higher up. Maybe, uh, yeah. I feel like I need to be, what do you think, like 5,000 feet at least to be able to pull this barrel roll off? I wouldn't mind just shooting the shit with you guys, but it's all business, you know? If you wanted to land, Probably the best bet is that uh, runway just ahead and to your left. Again, that's uh, McCord Field. Um, if you wanted to try, that might be the best way to set up and see if you can land there. Or just like the uh, pilot suggests, another option would be over Puget Sound into the water. Dang, uh, did you talk to McCord yet? Because I don't think I'd be happy with you telling me I could land like that because I could mess some stuff up. Well, Rich, I already talked to him and... Uh, just like me, what we want to see is you not get hurt or anybody else get hurt. So like I said, if you want to try to land, that's probably the best place to go. Hey, I want the coordinates of that orca with the, you know, the mama orca with the baby. I want to go see that guy. Damn it, Andrew. People's lives are at stake here. Now, Rich, don't, don't say stuff like that. Nah, I didn't tell you, I'm not, I don't want to hurt no one. I just want you to whisper sweet nothings into my ear. Hey, you think if I land this successfully, uh, Lapsco will give me a job as a pilot? Uh, you know, I think they would give you a job doing anything if you could pull this off. Yeah, right. Nah, I'm a white guy, eh? What the hell is this guy doing?